Hi everyone, welcome to Off Shelf Books. I don't know how I'm gonna fit this in the frame. <laughs> okay, good, it does. Uh, this is from Bible Project. Uh, they used to be called the Bible Project. They're now just known as Bible Project. And as it says here, this is Read Scripture, which it is their illustrated summaries of biblical books. So we can, if we wanna take a look at the back here, and it kind of gives you a sample of what to expect here. This is the gospel according to Mark. And as it says here, a visual introduction to the 66 books of the Old and New Testament. And it says these diagrams and accompanying essays give you an overview of each biblical book at a glance. You will see the book's main themes and theological message and how each book makes an important contribution to the overall storyline through its unique literary design. This was the second edition and I got this in I believe 2017 and as you can tell it, it is an older edition because yes this was their old name The Bible Project and I think they altered their logo too. They are a tremendous resource of information about the Bibles. Their artwork and the videos they've done on their website is absolutely stunning and incredible. They just have a team of amazing, talented artists. Uh, this thing is just massive. This, it's, it's a coffee table book, um, but this almost feels like a table in of itself because this, is, this takes up a massive amount. You better have a large coffee table because this is huge for a coffee table book. This is, it's well crafted. It has this hard, sturdy board feel to it. Let's open this thing. Look at that. It just, this thing is just massive. But the quality of this is just second to none. There's a forward by Francis Chan, who I, as you know, I really admire his work. But yeah, here are the contents. Every book of the Bible right all the way down here just yeah <laughs> like i'm glad i'm on a table right now i would not want to try to i don't think anyone should ever try to read this on their lap on a couch i've tried it it doesn't work very well at all and it wasn't meant for that you really need a big table so i'm very thankful i have this big table but yeah you have your forward from francis chan introduction by tim mackey and now we're into the Old Testament. All the more reason why you need a table because clearly if you're going to read this, you're going to have to turn it completely 90 degrees just to read this. But this is the essays that they're talking about and they actually give their commentary on this. On the other side here is the team of artists that drew this summary. When you look at this on the surface, it's, I don't think you're, you're net, you're, you just won't really understand all of this and so these definitely both complement each other you definitely need to read the summary and rightfully so just to have any clue what's interesting about the essays that the i believe these are word for word exactly the same script for their videos in many ways you are better off just watching the videos rather than buying this massive book and reading it this definitely is more of a collector's item I imagine because it's meant to be a coffee table book, it, it turns out to be a, uh, a good conversation starter for those who come across it, because how can you miss this thing? It's so massive. Oh, this is kind of cool. They kind of, on the back here, they show a little bit of their sketches of when they were constructing uh, this one here. So that's pretty cool. If you read all this, you will then understand what these uh, illustrations are all about. And they're not too long. You could probably read this in a couple minutes. It shouldn't take too long. A page and a half, two, very large ones albeit, but it shouldn't take too long. And then you have your summary of what these books are about. For some reason, if you didn't read the essays, I highly encourage you to do, but if you didn't, you can generally understand a lot of this, especially, I guess, most Christians would definitely at least understand some of the the symbolism involved, but it is just a fantastic artwork here. Joshua, Ruth. 
I don't know personally if I would take the time to read this. Again, I think you're better off just watching the videos. I don't even think I can fit this on the shelf. I would have to have a very tall shelf to fit this in. Maybe for those that are fans of Bible projects and the work that they do, or maybe you haven't heard of them before, please check out their work if you're interested in buying one of these. I think they're third editions out now. I don't know if they're gonna make a fourth edition, but they have a lot of great stuff. And I think you can even buy even just the illustration, both physical and digital. At the time I got this book, the Bible Project was still fairly small in terms of its library of videos, but now they've expanded to a lot of themes and series and the quality of their animation is just getting better and better. I would almost encourage Bible Project to make a full feature film with the amount of talent that team has and what they can draw and create. Let's see if there's anything at the end of this. If we get right to the end. Yeah, we have Revelation here. Yeah, rightfully so. Revelation would take well over two pages here. And that's it. They just, there's nothing at the end. You just have Revelation. It finishes off here and that's the book this so there we have it oh man <laughs> i don't suggest buying this if you are simply doing this just to read i think you really have to be a fan of bible project and this is more of a commemorative uh nostalgic piece i guess i don't see the application of reading a book of this size more just a coffee table book and it's a great conversation starter. But other than that, just check out Bible Project's videos. They have a ton of great stuff and you won't be disappointed.